Hey, what's up, my math party people? Question nine. Go ahead, pause the video, give it a shot, and then press play when you're ready. So, a six-sided number dice is to be rolled, and a spinner numbered one through ten is to be spun. What is the probability that the dice lands on an even number and the spinner lands on an odd number? So, we're gonna go ahead and try this thing out. This one's actually a lot simpler than you might believe. And here's the reason why. Well, we're looking for probability, right? And this is gonna be a compound probability because we're looking for the dice and spinner separately, but the combined probability of each event happening together. So in order to go ahead and compute this, we are gonna go ahead and use the compound probability rule, which means we just multiply those independent probabilities. So I'm gonna go ahead and find the probability for the dice, multiply it with the probability for the spinner. All right, so what's the probability for the dice? Well, I see here that we want the dice to land on an even number and it's six sided, so one through six. Well, think about it. The numbers one through six are half even, half odd, so then that's intuitive, half for dice. You can count it yourself. Even numbers, two, four, and six. Out of the six numbers, that's three out of six, or half. And now spinner landing on an odd, same deal. 1 through 10, you have 10 numbers. Every other number is going to be odd. Every other is also even. So that's 5 and 5. 5 even, 5 odd. So 5 odds out of 10 total numbers, but 1 half again. Just using some logic here, that way we can save some time. So that's going to be half again. Multiplying, we get 1 fourth, giving us C as the answer choice. So I'm hoping that makes a little more sense there because. Again, you know, sometimes you don't have to actually lay everything out and actually draw everything and circle everything. Once you get the hang of this, you'll understand that if they say even and the numbers are essentially consecutive, well, then it's going to be half. Unless they say it's three numbers and five numbers, not an even amount. So case by case, but with these, like the number cubes and the spinners, you're fine. If they actually show you a spinner with different numbers on it, then you have to actually go ahead and circle everything little by little. But for now, you're fine. So go ahead, keep crushing these types of problems. Let us know in the Facebook group if you have any questions. And as always, it's when you pass, not if you pass. On to question 10. Let's get it.